I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going to. No, that's not true. I totally know where I'm going and I know I can't sing. I'm also going to be looking for some things to sell. So if I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm driving there and I'm almost there. I can't wait to show you what I got. I'll do my best to tape some things while I'm in there. So I just left the thrift shop and the lighting is awful, but I have you somewhere that I think the camera will stay. So for now, we'll take some awful lighting and you'll get to see the steering wheel. Here we go. So I normally don't like this angle, but so I went into the thrift store and as I said in the beginning, my goals were to find uh, some Disney because I want to do a Disney Poshmark live show sale whatever and I do have some Disney but I'd like to add to it and I'd all I also wanted some Harry Potter so I did find a couple of Harry Potter things and then I wanted some things for myself and perhaps a couple of things to sell or send into the real real and I accomplished many of my goals oh and I was also going in to look for some vintage I'm trying to think I didn't I don't think I ended up picking any up any vintage but I'm not even sure now which is pretty funny so I spent $37 and I got mostly clothing and I also got a namaste sign that you'll see made out of wood and also there was some oh this cute holiday thing that I'm just keeping for myself so I can't wait for you to see it so here it comes so you're taking my car ride with me back home because I was just thinking I'd love to know when you go to your thrift stores consignment shops wherever do you have a price point in mind that you are going to spend? And do you have a plan in mind about what you are going to pick up? Like I had my plan today so that I didn't spend more than I needed to or buy things that I didn't need to buy unless, you know, unless you see something that you know like I'll always look for those name brands that I know are gonna bring in a lot of money whether that's sell sending it into the real real or selling it yourself I'll always look for those but the problem is now like the Salvation Army and Goodwill have raised their prices so much that in order to buy something that's a good name brand if you buy it first and you don't wait for the sale, which 
can turn into you not getting it. If you're buying it to sell, sometimes the price is too high now. Now, don't get me wrong. If there's something there for $70, but it's going to sell for 400 that's a different story. But now they're raising jackets, skirts, dresses, even dresses that aren't good name brands to $30, $40, $50, $60, what you've never seen before. So I do seek out more expensive items, but not things that I'm not going to make money on. So I'll always still look for those while I'm looking through. I also look for fun things or nice things for myself. Uh, those I'll pay a little bit up for, but not much, because why should I? And I just know now what I'm going for, because I know that in the past I did it. So let me know. I'm curious. Leave a comment. I love when you guys leave comments. And I like to know what you're up to. Have a good one. I have a great thrift haul for you because it was exactly what I wanted it to be. And you're going to see that because I'm going to show you some of me driving to the thrift store, coming back, some in-store footage. And I'm also going to then show you my haul. So it might be a little while. This is Crescent. Boop, 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 boop. I'm eating while I'm doing this. So, uh... I'm going to take a bite before I go into the next segment. No, I'm not, because I'm going to talk. All right, so I'm, I'm Marion with the tire and beyond. I am Merrill Gold, M-A-R-I-L-G-O-L-D, on Poshmark. I am a reseller on Poshmark, also a little bit on Mercari, Depop. And I send in things to The Real Real, which has been paying off. You can watch my Real Real video to see that. So... Here is what I want to show you. I went to two different stores today. I'm not sure if I brought in things from another day. I'll let you know if I did. And I'm going to give you a brief description on what they are and how much they were. So this is the best part. I went to my first store that's normally open on Wednesdays and they weren't. But all the people were there and I was still allowed picking through the free stuff. So I did. So I know which ones those are because they're on hangers. So maybe not things that I would have bought, but these are the kind of things that get looks in my closet. I want to see this just says a wish come true and it's Wakanda forever. And it's a kid's size it just says S-A, small average maybe. Then I saw this, and I don't think it's going to fit me. It doesn't have a tag, so I'm going to look on the inside to see what size it is. But it's this gorgeous tunic sweater, either top. Yeah, it's a top, and you can wear it with leggings or jeans or a skirt. Rayon nylon does not say the size. I'm going to say it's a small, but I will measure it to put in my listings. And most of these are to put on Poshmark or Poshmarks, Poshmark or do on live shows. This is just the cutest little machi machino bambino to a, I figured Valentine's Day is coming up. These are still free. And then I think I have one more free. So this is... Bud Burma, permanent press, polyester, and combined cotton. I would have to look at the size for this, but I thought it was just a very nice shirt for free, right? So, because it's a little bit different. So then, let me show you my haul from the store. I'm going to take a little bite in between, so excuse me. I am starving. I'm going to step over here for a sec. Okay. The first thing I got that is going to be backwards to you is this Namaste wooden 
wall hanging. It says yoga, yoga mat holder. But if you know how that's a yoga mat holder, let me know. Oh, this was just, I'm just going to show you because it was half of that today. So it was $2.99, half of that. It was $1.50 for that. Then this is for me, so I paid up a little bit. This is, I may even sell it, a Department 56 Christmas Goose. Christmas Crinkles by Patience Brewster is what it looks like. So this was $7.99, but today it was $4. Oh my goodness, I can't. After having my bird, I, 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 it's too cute. I had to get that. So this one was $4 today. We'll see if I sell it or keep it. I didn't look to see what year it was from or anything like that, but I will look it up. I didn't even run comps because I'll keep it for myself. I have no problem with that. So here we have this Brandon Thomas size medium. Let me zip this baby up. Medium leather jacket. Come on, you zipped up in the store. Okay, hold on because I got it upside down. So this jacket. Now, this is what I was saying. Sells there now for $49.99. No one bought it throughout all the tags. So, today I got it for a dollar. And it is size medium. So, I had to pick that up. Even if I didn't have that in mind, I looked it up and I can make some money on it. Oh, so then these little pants. Now, these weren't part of my search either, but I am always looking for anything that's Levi's. So, these are kids' Levi's. They are new with tags. This is 12 regular denim legging. And then that twelve was $12.99, but this is also... 12 regular denim legging. Look at how cool those are. I got these each for a dollar. Then I've been wanting this myself. I know. I know. I'm crazy. Uh, I don't even know if it's going to fit me. Let me see if there's a size. It doesn't matter, though, because it looks my size. This is cotton and spandex. No size, but if it doesn't, it will eventually. It is so cute. It's just a girly girl girl shirt. Got that for a dollar. Can't go wrong. Let me try and pull out some of the dollars first. Now, this is just time and true. And again, this one's for me. So this is size 14 because I lost weight, so now I'm going in between a 14 and a 16. Uh, before I was higher, I just wouldn't admit it. Um, but this is a velvet pant, high rise fitted. And I just got it because it's like a velvet, like a crushed velvet type pants. It's black and it is a size 14. And that was only a dollar, so could I not get it? No. Now, I didn't try them on, but even if they don't fit me now, they will fit me. So, this one, I did purposely go out for Harry Potter type things. And this, let's see, I just want to see what it's made out of because I might be able to just put it on for you so you can get a better idea. It is a large, it's called Love to Lounge. And it is a size USA 10 to 12. So at least you'll be able to see it on. It's not going to fit very well. It'll be a little bit small unless it's oversized. Oh, it is. So then I can tell you. But I just wanted to be able to show it to you. It is a crushed velvet type robe. Now this one was... $12.99, but I got it half price. So $6.50. Uh, 
it's just it's good to bring things to your closet people to your closet and different things like that so now this is what do we have here this is a e-k-o-u-a-e-r i didn't know who it was but it was a size medium but very oversized so i got this for me just because i liked it you know as night clothes all right so here's some of the disney that i was looking for so this says i just want to hang with my dog and you know I just want to hang with my animals, so I thought that was cute. It was $4, half price. This was $2. Then some woman <laughs> was putting this back, and it was only a dollar JM collection. This is a size large, so I am going to take it for me. It looks a little oversized, but if it doesn't fit now, it will. I know I'm going back and forth, but that's how I have it in the bag. So here is another Disney shirt, size small, polyester, and rayon. This is, is it Minnie? Yep, this is Minnie. Got her for a dollar. And then this one, I looked up the name because you know when things just look different? So this is Isabella Rodriguez. And it was just a different type of top. I believe I saw that it was vintage. That was only a dollar, so I got that. And then this one I got for me. <laughs> so this was $6, but it was half, so it was 3 But well worth it because I'm a sparkly kind of girl. I don't think it had a size in it. Let me see. No. But I could tell it will fit. So I loved it. It's blue and silver. Then here we go. Another thing for Disney. And I got this because it was definitely different. This is a 2X for a dollar. It was $3.99, but I got it for a dollar. But look at the cute little lace on the bottom. So it's a cutesy one to sell on one of my live sales. Oh, and then this was another pair of the, this was Garnet Hill Kids. They were $1, and I thought they were very unique. I was going to say it was another pair of those other ones, but it's not. Then I got this Hogwarts shirt, so another Harry Potter. This was 4 so it was 2 today. But remember, it was what I was looking for, Harry Potter. And it has really, I like the colors. It's not just gray. It has other colors to it. Then this, this one was $3.99. So it was $2. And this one is Disney Parks. And I like getting things from Disney Parks because you can only get them from Disney Parks. So sometimes people are willing to pay a little up for them. Sometimes they're not. So this is a dress barn size large, and I know I'm an extra large right now, but I got it for me for when I fit into it. This is a dress barn, just dress barn. Yeah, I did say that. So this I got for $2. Oh my goodness, am I at the end? I felt like I got so many more things. And this is last but not least, this was Lucky Brand, and it was a yellow tag. So this was a dollar because it was half price and it was just different and cute and I know it's a t-shirt but I'll wear it if I don't sell it because I just I like it so that was it for the haul but I'm adding things into the end because I was talking on the drive home and I'm very excited about it even though they're not big name brands or anything like that. There are some bolo things. I have things for myself. So what I do is, just so that you know, after I get home, I take off the tags immediately. I didn't because I wanted you to see them. And then I either wash the ones that are not new or I steam the ones that are new. This way I can be sure that I get them as 
what do I want to say, sanitary, you know, just in case there are any germs or whatever. You know, I do think about that because I know I wouldn't wear them if they weren't clean. So I make sure I get that done. And that's it. So now what I'm going to do is eat my big yummy salad. So I'm not sure <laughs> what you guys like, but I have salad left over from the holidays, right? Is my dog still here? No. But I put everything in my salad. So in here I have grapes. I have uh, cherry tomatoes. I have craisins. A little bit of walnuts. And today I added portobello mushrooms and a little bit of chicken. Oh, and carrots. <laughs> I got a little bit of everything in here. So it's almost like a day in the life video, right? So I am going to eat this. I know it looks like it is a whole thing of lettuce. It's not. I mix some lettuces together with all the other things. And I'm going to now edit my video while I'm eating. Thanks for watching again. If you enjoy this kind of content, it's always not so laid back. But if you enjoy this kind of content, whether it's tips, tricks, hauls, I want to give my information to you because I love helping other people on YouTube the way so many people help me without even knowing it. So stay tuned. This is December Daily, right? Dearthmas number 28. I didn't even say it in the beginning. I might put something in in the beginning, but we'll see. If not, you now know December Daily Dearthmas number 28. So if you like this, give it a like. Hit that subscription button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get more content like this. And take a look at my other videos if you enjoyed this. I did a video every day in December. Skipped a couple of days, but put two in one uh, because I wasn't feeling too well. But you'll hear all about that too. Uh, so I am a reseller who has a chronic condition. I do have a video on that. And I hope to see you tomorrow. It's almost the new year. Bye. So I guess the moral of this video, no, there's no moral, but the moral of the story is when you go out to thrift, go out with a, an idea in your head of what you're going to buy because that will stop you from spending a lot of money, especially in the beginning. Like I said, with me in the beginning, I would buy things because they were just a dollar. Now, don't get me wrong, I still buy dollar things if I know they're going to sell or if I have a theme. So the moral of the story is have a plan. It's always good to have a plan. Know where you're going first, know what you want the most, know which stores you want to go to and go for it. <laughs>